Let's talk about sex. Hello YouTube and welcome back from Alessio Terrell TV. Today we're gonna create a fancy intro for your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're gonna recreate the clip you just watched at the beginning of this video. There will be a few things we're going to tackle in this video and one of them will be editing the video, so that means cutting the clips and setting into the timeline. And also we're gonna manage a little bit of the audio. Another thing we're going to tackle is gonna be nesting a clip and why we're nesting a clip. And since we have some audio in our project files, we're gonna also see how we can uh, sync our audio with the clip itself and adding some sound effects as well. Without any further ado, let's jump into Premiere Pro. The main focus of this tutorial will be freezing our frame in the specific moment where we're adding our text effect and the zoom effect with the stroke and some color correction. And I'm going to show you also how to mask a clip as well. First thing I'm going to do is drag and drop into a new sequence our video file, which is this one. So drag and drop into this icon. It will create a new sequence with the same settings as the video clip itself. We can see the frame rate is 30 frames per second. Also, we can see the dimensions and the size is 4K video. So the first thing we're going to do is scrub into the timeline and find the frame we want to freeze. The frame we want to freeze is this one. We're going to select the clip press Alt and drag up the clip. Now we're gonna cut the clip with the razor tool or pressing C on the keyboard and we're gonna cut it right there. We're going to delete the first part and also we're going to cut the beginning which will be around here and we're going to do a ripple delete and there we go, let's have a little play. Let me put on one fourth, it will play a little faster Oh, for some reason I caught the audio as well, but no big deal. I need to unlink the audio with the clip so I can drag back the audio and link these two below. Let's play Let's it. Talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about sex. And this is where I want to start. So I'm gonna press C again, cut and ripple delete. Let's play it. Let's talk about sex. Right, so I'm going to mute both of the clip below. I'm going to select my clip above. I'm gonna stay on the frame. I'm gonna right click on the clip itself and I'm going to choose frame old options. And also from the drop down menu, I'm going to select in point and click OK. Let's have a play. Thanks. Perfect. Let's talk about sex. Maybe it's too long, so we can we can do or recut the clip again. Now I'm doing a zoom into the timeline by pressing plus on the keyboard or minus on the keyboard, so I can see better. Uh, because it's probably too long, I'm just gonna put it back right here, just by dragging the other one, so it will last less. Let's talk about sex. And boom. It doesn't match properly, so what can we do? It's pretty easy. I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to redo it again. I'm going to duplicate my clip by holding Alt and dragging it up. I'm going to cut my clip right here. I'm going to delete this one and then again, frame all option, in point and press OK and let's have a play. Let's talk about sex. And that's perfect. All right, now we're gonna talk about masking. Basically, I just need to stay right here where I am. We're gonna go to the effect control, opacity, and press the free draw bezier tool. And I can zoom a little bit in here, like let's say 75%. I'm going to scrub down a little, and I'm gonna fast forward this bit. There we go, this is the effect we have with the mask. So if I mute my clip below, this is what we get. It doesn't have to be precise, but of course, if you want to have a pretty good result, you have to spend a little bit more time on the mask in itself. So we have a play and it looks pretty good. So now we need to nest the clip because we have to apply the paint bucket effect. It is a little bit like when we are pre-composing in After Effects. So I'm showing you how I do it. We're going to select the clip. I'm going to right click and click on nest sequence. I'm going to call it paint bucket 
but it doesn't matter. It's just to organize a little bit my project file. So that's the fun part. We're gonna apply the paint bucket effect by clicking it in our presets. And there we go. Drag and drop into the clip. And the first thing I'm going to do is set it to transparency and the stroke, I'm gonna set it to stroke and I am going to increase the stroke width up to, this is from your preferences, but I'm going to, yeah, put it like 40 and it looks so right. I'm gonna change the color to white because it matches my glasses and it matches the text as well. After we've done that, it's pretty good to go. We're gonna close this and there you go. After we've done that, we need to cut the clip below in order to grab the part when I start dancing and match it with the, our audio clip. So let's go and see where I start dancing. Let's say right there. I can see it from the audio clip right here by pressing control, stay on the tab and with the scroll wheel, I can increase the size of it. So let's see. I wanna start when I move down, so right right there and I'm gonna cut the clip right there perfect I also need to decide how long this effect is gonna last in my timeline we can check our original ones and it lasts only roughly two seconds which is fine and we're gonna shorten the clip up to our playhead and that sounds about right let's see let's talk about sex yep sounds really good and then I need to cut our other clip, the clip below, where this one is. So I'm going to cut it right there and ripple delete. And let's see. Let's talk about sex. It looks pretty good. Now it's time to create our effect. What we need to do is to enhance our foreground in compared to the background. We need to decrease the visibility of the background in order for our foreground to stand out. We're gonna zoom in our foreground a little bit and also changing its color a little. And we're going to decrease the contrast and the exposure of the background in order to be a little bit faded or something like that. So how are we gonna do this? We're going to select, first of all, our nested clip, the one with the paint bucket. And we need to create an animation on the scale. We're gonna go on the first frame and I'm gonna click on the stopwatch and create a, a keyframe. We're going to go right in the middle because I want the animation to be smooth and, and fast. Let's say halfway and I'm gonna increase it to, okay, first of all, as you can see, the scale is not proportional because we need to change the anchor point. So I'm going to select motion and this is the anchor point. I'm gonna just select it and put it like in the middle of my, let's say my frame. And then I can create my zoom effect by dragging the percentage. Let's say something like that, 130. Let's press play and see how it looks. Let's talk about sex. It's very slow still, so I need to put it probably something about here. Let's talk about sex. It looks pretty good. Uh, but for this effect, we probably need to add our effect, the swoosh. Let's see, the swoosh is right here. We're gonna drag and drop it underneath. And let's see how it sounds right now. Yeah, it's not really synced, so we're gonna sync it right now. We're gonna put it a little bit forward. And probably the zoom is still slow, so we're gonna go to the effect control and move the keyframe a little bit back. Yeah. It looks pretty good. It looks really good now. So we have that in sync. We're gonna decrease it as well, just to make our timeline tidy. Because we like it. I think it's now time to add our soundtrack, which is this one. I really love this clip. And we're gonna drag it right here, where my paint bucket uh, clip starts. Let's see. Let's talk about sex. It's perfect. All right, so what we need to do is mute because the music is not completely in sync. So we're gonna just unlink it again and we're going to delete it or we can decrease the volume down to zero. It's up to you guys. If I mute it, yeah, it's completely muted. So it's fine like this. At least we have a reference, so it's fine. Let's play it back. Let's talk about sex. It 
and it looks pretty good. Okay, it's not super perfectly in sync, like my, the way I move is not super perfect. It should be like that. Okay, now we have this in sync. It's time to add some effects. First of all, we need to add the text. We're going to use our new type tool, which I made a video tutorial uh, last week because they changed it. If we want to find the old one, it's here. It's in File, New, and Legacy Title. But we're going to use the new one, so you click right there. We're going to click straight into our video, and I'm going to type Sexy, and then Time. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to open my Essential Graphics. I'm going to go to Edit, and let's see what we can do. I'm going to rotate it. Right here, I'm going to scale it. I'm going to move it, and we're going to change the font to something. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm going to add a stroke. We're going to make a stroke black. The stroke, something like this. It's pretty easy to use and it's fun. So, right, we're going to sync the clip with my nested clip. I need to create the same animation for the scale and sync it with the motion we have in the nested clip. So we're going to select the sexy times text, we're going to effect control, go to the beginning, go to scale, set it to zero, and then we're going to move roughly where I stop, where the zoom in stops, and I'm gonna set it to 100, and dash, set it to zero, create a keyframe, now I'm going to move right after I stop zooming in and I'm going to set it to 100 and let's play it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now what we need to do is create the foreground background differences in the color correction. I'm going to select my paint bucket nested clip. I'm going to apply a Lumetri color preset into my paint bucket, into my clip and I'm going to basic correction and I'm going to saturation, let's see. Yeah, the saturation will do. So I'm gonna set the keyframe right there and where I stop again, I'm going to set it like certain value, whatever, to make it really stand out. It's not really, it's very, it's very yellowish. Okay, and that's okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing with our main clip, which is this one, there we go. We're going to apply another Lumetri color right there. And we're gonna do basically the opposite. We're gonna go to our basic correction and uh, select the exposure and contrast. We're going to create a keyframe in both of them. We're gonna move forward a little bit in the timeline. We're going to decrease our exposure and we're going to increase the contrast. I think it looks pretty okay. We're gonna play through and see how it looks like. Let's talk about sex. All right, it looks pretty good. One last thing we need to do is resize the frame of this clip because there are too many things going on that I don't like of this of this clip. Let's say all this stuff in the in the in the shelves and whatever. So I'm just going to select the clip. I'm going to the scale option. I'm going to scale it up quite a bit. I'm going to move it as well. Let's say when I'm when I'm happy with it. So something like that probably it will do. And I'm gonna play it back again. Let's talk about sex. Alright, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. We're gonna compare it to the first version and see. Let's talk about sex. It looks pretty much the same, except that I worked a little bit more on the first one just to make it look nicer, but anyway, it looks pretty much the same. So you got the idea, of course, there's some color correction going on here, as you can see, from here to here. What I did is just using the Lumetri color and color grading my clip a little bit better, that's all, to remove the yellowish effect that is going on. This is the final result. 
I hope you guys liked it. I really enjoyed making this video tutorial for you guys. And uh, as usual, please subscribe if you like the video and uh, please drop a like and a comment. And if you want to know more in details for other video tutorials, then I'll be happy to do it. And remember to subscribe again and drop a like. It means a lot to me because I'm kind of new to video tutorials, but I really love, I work with After Effects and Premiere Pro. I really love them. So I maybe for the next one, it would be nice to show you what I've done at work using some uh, clip from Star Wars and using the Saber plugin from Video Copilot, that would be really really cool. I really would like to show you those clips, but I can't right now. But I can do a video tutorial if you guys want, I would really love to do that. So stay tuned for new video tutorials and I'll see you soon from Alessio Tutorial TV. Bye!